Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is, what time is it? It is two o'clock in the afternoon. Got this morning, did the vlog. Uh, I was pretty happy with that vlog, put it out there for you guys to watch, and then I worked on the treats from Scotland. Again, anybody who watches this channel and watches that channel, in the video I said, these are not necessarily made in Scotland, but that's where Sandra gets them when she goes to Scotland, because she probably doesn't go all over Europe. She probably just visits her mom in Scotland, and while she's there, she buys her favorite treats, brings them back for me, and then send them to me again from Brampton, which is probably about an hour away from here. So uh, just to give you a heads up on that. And so I finished all that work up by 12 o'clock and Ben was trying to describe to me uh, to kind of be careful when you watch the new Walking Dead because it is pretty intense. So I watched it and it has now wrecked my day. I'm not sure if you've ever watched a movie or a television show that wrecked your day. Like, put you into a funk, a depression, uh, makes you feel awful, sad. Uh, man, I can't even describe how I feel right now. So I need to get out of the house, go for a really long walk. Uh, again, let me know in the comments below if this has ever happened to you. Probably has. Some people, doesn't this stuff doesn't affect them. But same with news stories and things that can destroy your day. Uh, I'm going to tell you one thing before we go for a walk. Back when I worked for the school board, I think I've talked to you guys about this once. Uh, back when I worked for the school board, I videotaped a psychiatrist talking in front of a whole gymnasium full of people about how to make your life better. And this particular person was the actual counselor that helped two families deal with the deaths of their daughters and all the 47 police officers that were in that officers that were uh, part of that awful time in our life in Ontario. In his thing, he said, if you want to have a productive day, do not listen to the news first thing in the morning. The first two hours of your day are very important not to mess with because it can destroy the rest of your day, make you feel like crap. So one of the things, and as a joke, he's like, or, and don't listen to country music. But that was just, that was a joke. So I've, I've kind of followed that. I don't, I don't listen to the news in the morning. Uh, I guess ever since I started working at home, uh, I don't listen to the radio on the way to work. And so on the radio, they always have those little news breaks about what disaster happened and who was killed yesterday and and all that stuff so if you want to have a great productive day don't listen to the news for the at least the first two hours of your morning after that i guess you can go ahead but as long as your your motion your day is set in motion uh if i had woke up this morning and watched uh the walking dead i probably would have completely destroyed the, my work schedule and everything because it was that bad, scary and whatever, depressing. So my Fitbit says I, I like I just put it on. So it said I had or put it on maybe 20 minutes ago. And it says I have about 60 steps already. So we're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna walk for an hour and then we'll minus the steps that I've done just before. I'll look at my Fitbit just before we go. We'll see how many steps I can do in one hour, and that will hopefully help also purge this awful funk that The Walking Dead has put me in. Let's go. I'm about 50 minutes into my walk walking along this road. Pretty deserted, but it's uh, quitting time, so everybody's coming home. And I am walking this far over from the road. That's gotta be about eight feet distance. And I have no idea why. There's a guy just coming right for me. This is like the safe, proper way to walk on a road on the left side towards traffic in North America. Other places, I don't know. But this is the correct and safe way of walking. As you can see, where the cars are on the road, one guy though, literally comes over as close as he can 
Why? Why? Why would you do that to a pedestrian? Unbelievable. It is scary out there, people. Stay at home. Don't do drugs. So I walked more than an hour, but at the hour mark, I looked at my Fitbit real quick and it was around 6,100 footsteps. So basically probably an hour and 45 minutes, you'd get your 10,000 steps. I'm thinking, I wouldn't mind actually put my Fitbit on and walking until I hit 10,000 steps. I think you could do it in, in definitely less than two hours. So there you go, just in case you ever want to know, because I wanted to know. Just reading through some of the comments yesterday and a bunch of people were commenting about the Pontiac over my Suzuki. The situation is there's four adults, three cars, and my daughter can only drive two of them. She doesn't know how to drive stick or she doesn't like to drive stick. And uh, so that sometimes causes problems. So yesterday, Ben took my car because my daughter needed the Pontiac to go to work at four. So that's the situation. It's not that the kids are pushing me out of my car or something.